Why, hello everyone, it's Tanya here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am happily bringing back our girl, Alexa. <laughs> Today's video, we're bringing back the mafia and the goal is to be the godfather or godmother, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that opens a museum with the black market, so yeah. A lot of you guys love Alexa. I do too. So whenever I do crime videos, I'm gonna try and bring this girl back because she is hilarious. Before we get into it though, I want to give today's post notification shout out to AFK Silas. Thank you for turning on my notifications. If you guys ever want to shout out one of my videos, just subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down, down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. So I have no plan for this. I am just going to wing it. Alexa's born with crime as her special talent. So we at least have that, but uh, I haven't tried to become godfather or godmother in a while. And I know that takes a lot of work, but we're gonna see what happens. And then as we become the godmother or whatever level of position is highest in the mafia, we're gonna open a museum. So we have our girl Alexa. By the way, I took off my gel nails. I stopped biting my nails for over a year. And then I thought I didn't need fake nails anymore. I started doing my own nails at home. But then unfortunately through stressful times, I started biting them again. So I ended up getting nails done again, but now I finally grew them out. I took them off and I put some nail hardener on them. So they're very shiny, but hopefully now I can grow them out myself because I don't have the urge to bite them anymore, I think. <laughs> So yeah, that's why my nails are so shiny, if you're wondering. But yeah, so we have Alexa. As you guys know, if you are a regular on my channel, you know who Alexa is. Miss Alexa Levine, the celebrity, okay? <laughs> She's born in Toronto. She has parents that end up getting divorced or something. And then, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. The dog dies as always. See, the parents divorced and I always get like a new stepmommy. See? <laughs> Hey, mommy. The same thing happens. Parents get divorced. Dad gets a new young wife and I always name, call her like mom or mommy. Then I get diagnosed with depression literally every time. Okay, so we're 10 years old. So we're gonna start doing a little bit of crime. Um, the best option is to have your mini games off. So you're less likely to get caught in burglary. So we're gonna do a mystery shopper. <laughs> I burgled. Listen, burgled sounds so wrong. It is burglarized. I don't care if burglarized is not even a word. It is burglarized. <laughs> we burglarized the mystery shopper's home and stole her teddy bear. It's always teddy bears and computers. It's never like a adult toy collection or something. <laughs> Serial killer! 300 in cash and 486 for the little goodies. I really wish, I say this all the time, but with the black market, when you burglarize a house and you get that teddy bear and you get that laptop and you get that computer, you should be able to sell it in the black market and host your own auction or display them in your museum. <sighs> That's just me. Okay, so I'm gonna do the third one. I might as well soldier. Oh! Well, I guess I'm in juvie. Listen, the goal of this life is not to become the president. You can go to juvie. Alexa can have a little bit of punishment so she's not as risky. Maybe I shouldn't have done the third person. Can I make some juvie friends? <laughs> Interact with the other delinquents? Bianca, she like the top girl. Carjacking at 12. Insult her. Yes. I told Bianca she was a Nimrod. She lunged at me. Thanks for walloping my back and snapping my rump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sent my mom a letter. Mom, I love you. I miss you. I've only been in here for three weeks, but I love you. She, I got, I got some envelopes from her. Send her a thank you letter. Okay, time to age out of juvie. And we're in primary school. I wasn't even in primary school. Oh, jokes I was. It's just I had to be re-enrolled. <laughs> I'm stupid. Maybe I can um marry the godfather and then get rid of him and taxidermy him. Ooh, and then... <laughs> Take his job. That's a good idea. I should write that down. Burglarize a farmer. Why is it that the farmer gave me the most money? Never judge a book by its cover, you guys. You and your friend just finished watching the Barbie movie and she asks which Barbie character you'd want to be if you were the iconic doll. Ken. I'm Kenuff. I think we should. Oh, we're not old enough to steal a car. I was going to be like, I think we're ready to steal a car. Driver's test. We passed. Okay, this will sell. A Ford Bronco. Cause it's legal. Side parts are my thing. I don't know why I fell into the thing of middle parts, but do you see this? 
Side parts are for me, baby. Just because it's trendy to do middle parts doesn't mean it's what looks best. It's 11.35 p.m. I should keep an eye on that so I can rob a train. <laughs> Graduated, we don't want to go to university. We want to go to the mafia. I guess I should do that right away because it does take time, right? So let's go to occupation, special career, provide alibis. The Vitali family headquarters is in Toronto. Calling card is an octopus tentacle. If I'm able to rob the train, guys, it's because it's taken me a lot longer than 25 minutes to do this. If you don't see me rob a train, I either forgot or I was able to do it quick. Okay, so we're in the mafia, I guess. Um, let's work harder right away. So, oh, there's a godmother. She, she's a bit old, so she'll probably die. So maybe the next godmother or godfather, I'll like try to seduce and then... <laughs> taxidermy them and then make them the main display in my museum we we're always going to contribute the full amount we're trying to build the notoriety right burglarize a home a mobster maybe it's a rival <laughs> Twenty thousand. my boss bruno g class smiled at me took a puff of his cigar and went back to his book i wonder if they're reading this summer i turned pretty <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try and steal all the cars. Subaru, a BMW. Literally, it's so easy to steal cars when you're in the mafia. A Kia Rio. And then we're gonna extort some people. A Mitsubishi. Cause like, you don't have to worry about selling it through your possessions because then you're more likely to get caught because you're kind of stealing the car and just giving it to the mafia and they deal with it. <laughs> the only thing that sucks is you don't get all the money, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do some extortion. That one always gets you good notoriety. So let's do a jeweler. Okay. He's not scared at all, so let's shake him down. Smash toes with hammer. We smashed three of his toes. He still refused. Honey, where'd you go? Oh, he's gone. He's lucky. Family associate wants to go skinny dipping. You're a rat. You're done. You're done. You're a rat. Shows him as a rat. Haha, <laughs> I was correct. They steamrolled him into hot asphalt. <laughs> Oh my god. Did that make my notoriety go up? No. I guess I have to do like worse crimes. But so far everybody likes me. So that's good. For a second I was like, oh, that's good because then we can collect evidence against them. But I'm like, no, we're not being a rat. We're not being a snitch. We don't need to. We can open a museum at the same time. Her fear, shake her down, kick her genitals, slow hammer to the knee. Call the police. Bro, run for it. <gasps> okay, we escaped. That was risky. <laughs> I, just, ooh, I got lucky there. Okay, let's do some more extortion. A jeweler, you're the one that escaped. We gotta whack him out. Let's do take him skydiving. Oh my gosh. The boss invited me to help torture someone. Well, my notoriety went up. <laughs> Work harder and steal some more cars, I guess. Your boss, Bruno, has ordered you to shake down a scout leader. This is probably what's gonna get us promoted. Do it. Curb stomp her hand. Promote me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, even if I'm not showing you everything, I'm literally stealing all the cars right now and just contributing the full amount. Okay, they're showing me appreciation. And then I tried to do a bank robbery or some extortion. Get my notoriety up. And anytime they ask me to do anything, I just do it. Yeah, they gave me the full amount. Okay. And when they have no fear, you just have to like whack them out. Oh, this year we've got 200,000 contributed. Okay, this is our time to be promoted. Okay, they're willing to make you a made woman and promote you to soldier, but you have to do a contract for them. Okay, agree. Poison. Yes! Yes! Take the oath! I'm a soldier. Period. <laughs> We're like one-sixth of the way there though. We have soldier, then cap- Kapodajim, underboss, and godmother. Oh my gosh, this godmother is living a long time. She's literally 93. I wonder if Caesar is gonna become the new godfather and then I can marry him. Oh, we robbed 30,000. That was good. I can't forget midnight. It's 1148. Shake her down. Pierce with ice pick. Ha! We got a lot. Good. Not the full amount, but I'll take it. The Vitali family nicknamed me Greasy Thumb. Appreciate it. But so far, I have a great relationship with everybody. Good standing and perfect notoriety. So we're doing great. We're just... Stealing cars every year. We haven't even gotten caught once for that. And we're doing the extortion, but I'm doing the extortion carefully. And if I get annoyed, I just whack them out and that boosts my notoriety. So it kind of works. Like this person's scared. I'll pierce with an ice pick. And, but they gave me nothing. Are you joking? <laughs> really? The audacity. <gasps> the godmother died. Okay, Caesar was promoted. Oh no, he's gay. No, that means I can't seduce him. <laughs> Dang it. I feel so bad, but I need to... How I feel so bad. Maybe I should put a contract on his head because I need to be able to seduce them. I'm so sorry, Caesar. You don't deserve this. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm just going to see what happens. But the only way to taxidermy someone is to marry them. 
This sucks. Okay, well, let's just stick to what we're doing. It's almost midnight. Your boss has ordered you to seduce the daughter of a rival mob boss. <sighs> Do it. Okay, we successfully did it. <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry, daughter. Ooh, just a reminder, I need to go on the Mediterranean diet. Your boss has ordered me to shake down an accountant named Noah Cockburn who's been siphoning cash from the family. Do it. Dart his head. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> A dart? My father's been whacked by my syndicate's rival. Fed him to hungry alligators. That's so messed up. And his funeral. Oh my god. Bury him. That's so messed up. The audacity. Caesar, you're supposed to be protecting me. Ugh. The audacity. Promoted. Yes, I didn't have to do anything this time. Okay, what's next? Is it underboss? Oh. It's underboss. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sh okay. Well, I have three minutes till I can do a train robbery. Oh, let's just keep doing what we're doing. We're doing everything they ask. We're giving them all the money, so there's literally no misunderstandings. I'm literally like, dun, 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 dun. Ooh, an opportunity. During a jewel heist, you notice a pair of two carat pink diamond earrings that would fetch a hefty price at a pawn shop, and you could easily slip into your pocket without anyone knowing. No, turn them in with the rest. We can't go there. I'm trying to be the godmother. You gotta be loyal. Okay, this is my plan. It's 11.59. I'm gonna rob a train, and then after I rob the train, I'm gonna put a hit under the underboss. Um, train robbery. Let's do midnight. <laughs> 38 million! We definitely have enough for a museum! Tribute the full amount. Oh my god. Gosh. Now we have to put a hit on the underboss's head so he can take his job. <laughs> Whack him out. Buried alive. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's see what happens when we age. There's no way I don't get promoted. Are you joking? I didn't get promoted! Audacity. Does that mean I have to whack out everyone else? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Submerged suitcase on this guy. Buried alive on you. The meat grinder. Dang it. My boss, Annabella Legs, has ordered you to steal a Ferrari from a dealership. Do it. That train robbery was good though. What are the odds? I didn't even realize I was filming it in time for like a train robbery. Oh, my mother's been whacked by a rival. They tied her up to a chair and beat her to a bloody pulp with a sledgehammer then ran the hammer through her skull. Both my parents. Are you joking? You're supposed to be protecting me, Caesar. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, I've been promoted to underboss. I may or may not have put the underboss in a meat grinder to get this position. <laughs> You do too for a check. I was an employee. Here we go, besties. We are almost the godmother. Submerged suitcase and eight. Are you joking? I wasn't promoting. It was Vilfredo. That's so messed up. Okay, maybe it's because I didn't contribute anything that year. That when there's only one underboss, you know, they're the one that's gonna get promoted. Sorry for assuming. Okay, well, maybe I can marry you. He's single. Let's befriend him. Okay, we're friends. Now maybe I can ask you out. Okay, ask him out. <laughs> No way this is actually gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Time to propose to my mafia husband. I wonder what his net worth is. Only 1.6 mil. Honey, you clearly didn't do a train robbery. Botanical garden. Oh my goodness. Who knew that the mafia godfather had a romantic bone in him? Okay, plan our wedding. We don't need a prenup, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping my last name, baby. Okay, I have stepkids and a house, apparently. I'm gonna sell that house. Now it's time to whack him out. This better make me the godmother. I need to taxidermy him. Um, no! I can't do it. I have to do it actually through the crime tab. <laughs> Plan his funeral. Taxidermy. <sighs> they botched it. You guys told me that I could sue though if they botched. Ooh, five mil, please. Thank you. That's good. That is good. Now will I get promoted? Oh my God, Maria flaps was. Why not me, bro? Why is my standing not good? Oh, everyone's new. I'm just happy I got my taxidermied. Uh, godfather husband. <laughs> I should whack someone out. Let's body of steel them. Oh my god, the godfather passed away naturally. <gasps> yes. <laughs> I guess you shouldn't whack them out. I guess you just gotta let them die naturally. I forgot. It's been a while. I am the godmother. Period. Oh my gosh. Now that I'm the godmother and there's officially no consequences to my actions, <laughs> I'm going to rob all the cars and not contribute them now. Keep them for myself because 
my museum is just gonna be full of robbed cars. <laughs> no consequences to me not reporting it. So it's time to start our museum. I'm the godmother. Let's buy our museum. Buy it with cash, honey. Godmother museum. <laughs> okay, apparently you can change the name of the wings you guys told me. This name will be Dead Godfather. <laughs> Okay, this is my museum, Dead Godfather. <laughs> um, we gotta get him appraised. He's worth 800,000. Oh my gosh, that is officially, this is hilarious. This is what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to display the Godfather that I got rid of in order to be it, but it ended up not working, but it doesn't matter. It still counts. The theory of it was what was important. And the rest of the displays, I'm just gonna steal as many cars as I can. <laughs> I wonder if, because they're stolen, my museum's gonna get shut down. It's very possible it, it will. Um, Chevrolet, <laughs> the Toyota Supra, just cause I'm not gonna organize them. We're gonna have them all clean so they're in great condition till they have a full bar. And would you look at that? High appeal with the cars. Okay, manage our ticket prices will go to $35. This is great. I'm gonna try and fill up the entire museum full of cars. Ooh, 500K a month, let's go. I've decided I'm not gonna do the black market at all. It's literally just gonna be me stealing cars. It's going to be a car show because I kind of decided halfway through that I want the museum to be, to be related to the mafia, but the only thing that we could do is like cars in the mafia that could be put in a museum. So we're sticking it to that. I accidentally, for one of the cars contributed it. So we're gonna be missing one, but we're gonna contribute the next round. There we go, clean that one. And time to open our new wing. I'm not gonna do a second floor. I'm just gonna do the entire first floor. And add the rest, a Maserati, Mazda, and a Nissan Maxima. Pretty good appeal, not bad. While walking through a museum, you discover a punk rocker attempting to steal your Ford. Attack him, you're done. Stamp his throat. Ooh, got my car back. <laughs> I think it'd actually be pretty fitting to do a wing of weapons. I think so, I think we'll do it because like that's perfect for mafia. So let's go to the arms dealer. Ooh, a lance, offer more. Okay, we got it. Rename this wing the cars. <laughs> And we'll rename all of them cars, I guess. This one will be more cars. <laughs> Why am I so entertained by this? And this one, <laughs> are you guys ready? Even more cars. And this one will be the weapons. I need to do a video where I make a museum full of replicas, but the only thing about that is the museum might not last because you always get shut down, but we'll see. If you guys want it, comment it down below, I'll try. Chevrolet, Dodge Ram, Ford Bronco. Clean them all. I should do another video where I make it like all Lamborghinis or something, all like, oh my God, what about boats? I don't know if you could do that, maybe just cars. Has anyone tried boats or anything or like private jets? And time to do the last round of cars, I think. Okay, back to the arms dealer. Oh my I got the chainsaw from Texas Chainsaw. That's mine. Bro. Bro. <sighs> the audacity. Whatever. Well, I have all the cars now, so let me just add the last couple. So let's do the Jaguar. Oh, only two spots left, but we have three cars. Okay, BMW. We'll leave the Mini Coupe out. And finally, the Mazda. And that's it for the cars. Uh, Yurumi. Urumi, sure. No, it's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Please, thank you. Let's see if it's a replica or not. <gasps> Authentic, good. Oh, I gotta get rid of this last car. We're just gonna scrap it so I don't get caught by the police. Blunderbuss, purchase, thank you. Oh, yes, got it. Authentic, good. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other three off camera and then show you guys. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Oh, I added a blowgun, silver mace, and a tizona to our museum. So that finally completes our last wing. The main event, of course, is the dead godfather. Then we have our cars, then more cars, and even more cars. <laughs> and then we have our weapons. So look at Miss Alexa being a successful godmother turned museum businesswoman, having her dead competition be the main exhibit and all the cars she stole it. So let's just see after this how much money we make. And we made 700k, not bad. I'm not charging the most we could for tickets, but that's fine. Oh my god, a man named Nicholas Willette has offered to become your financial advisor. <laughs> Should I just say yes? Should we take the risk and spend all our money? <laughs> I mean, we'll make it back. We're running a museum. Give him my 135 million. Let's do it, honestly. Financial advisor, ask him to invest for you. 112 million, please. He invested my funds. Are you guys ready to see what Miss Mafia Alexa Greasy Thumb Levine Godmother does? One year return, 500,000. Should I keep going? <laughs> No, I screw it. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, we have made 29 mil. I'm, I'm getting everything out of there. How do I do that? 
Portfolio, liquidate all, please. Oh, thank you very much. Thank oh, thank you. So I just want to see what the gravestone says. So we're going to surrender. This is going to be the end. Net worth was 188 mil, one child, one child. Oh, because I had a stepkid, right? One lover, 19 <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Inexplicably, Alexa Levine surrendered at the age of 70. Her services were attended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fastidious woman, Alexa found her way into the mafia's notorious Vitali crime family. Friends say she had a knack for stealing cars. If that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. Well, guys, that was really fun. I highly recommend you guys try if you have the Black Market expansion and Mafia because I feel like these two just went perfect hand in hand together. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.